Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Screw me. Screw me just like that. Screw me. Screw me harder. Screw me faster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. This channel has gotten too smutty. I'm leaving. If you haven't heard of Shelly yet, I'm about to ram them right down your throat for the next 10 minutes. Smut! I, w I, I wasn't even being dirty that time. First of all, a massive thank you to Shelly for sponsoring today's video and sending me the prettiest and the largest bulb I have ever seen in my life. Seriously, look at this thing! I am absolutely in love with it. She's not just a pretty face. This is the most advanced smart bulb I have ever seen. And Shelly just wrecked the competition. As usual, I'll be comparing these bulbs to the dastardly villains of Philip's Hue. Uh, don't mind me, just doing a spot of evil. But before we get into all of that, let's talk about compatibility. These bulbs are compatible with She That Should Not Be Named. Turn the bloody enormous bulb on. Google Home. Turn the bloody enormous bulb off. But also Home Assistant. Home Assistant! Now there is native support for Home Assistant directly, but that's not what makes these clever. What makes them clever is their support for old school protocols such as MQTT and HTTP straight out of the... Where are you going? If you're not a massive nerd, this is still important to you. Let me explain why. Most of your smart home gear relies on the cloud. If the company that sold you the device goes bust, then the cloud disappears, and you're left with a sexy looking doorstop. Many people swear by Zigbee products because they are cross compatible, meaning that if one cloud dies, you can move your products to another cloud. The problem with this is that not all Zigbee products are cross compatible because, well, you know, I'm still doing evil. A lot of Zigbee products aren't cross-compatible between suppliers, especially those from Philips. They have made it intentionally awkward to move your gear from Philips to somebody else because they want your money. And the problem with this is, you might think right now, I don't care if I'm tied to Philips, you, they're great. They might be great for you right now, but imagine if Google suddenly bought Philips Hue after you'd bought God knows how much Philips stuff, and then announced, all of our stuff will no longer work with she that should not be named. Evil! You don't want to tie yourself to one supplier. What Shelly have unleashed upon the world is a series of products that not only react to she that should not be named and Google Home and all the usual stuff, but they will also react to a simple HTTP request. Look, here's me punching a website into a browser and watching my bulb turn on. Because these products are all operating locally on your local area network, and because they are capable of using such a simple communication protocol, even if the whole smart home industry went bust tomorrow, you would still be able to control that thing with a very simple Raspberry Pi solution instead. So yes, you can connect these things to your artificial intelligence fairy, but they are also the most robust products on the market right now. You know what I don't do often enough? Dress up as He-Man. This is my Lux Meter, and it is the most powerful device in the known universe because it proves trolls wrong. So the Hue Bulb is currently 19 pounds without a hub, and on both cool and warm white settings, it gets its ass beaten by Shelly's 10 pound bulb that doesn't need a hub. I found this to be the case with their standard duo bulb and their GU10s. I haven't got a Hue filament bulb, so I can't compare the brightness of that to this bloody enormous bulb from Shelly, but it is definitely more of a decorative piece because its brightest setting only just about lights my spare room. But that's not what this bulb is for. It's for hanging multiple bulbs above a dining table for that sexy restaurant vibe, or for putting in a lamp socket by your desk. It might not be the biggest illuminator, but it is my absolute favourite bulb ever. And when my backdrop tried to fall on it, I did an actual slow motion scream. So the brightness is great, but what about the dimness? Is that a word? I don't care. 
People often argue with me that the Philips bulbs are the only bulbs that go dim enough for their needs. Personally, I think Philips bulbs only have two settings, dim and very dim. But that's not the point. The point is I understand the concern and I promised I would start testing it. The good news here is that Shelly's bulbs all dim lower than any other bulb I have ever seen. So if that's your bag, these bulbs are for you. You again. I'm still doing evil. The Shelly app is the best looking app I have ever seen. I love its colour scheme and I really like how intuitive it is to use. There is nothing you can't find absolutely immediately and it's got a whole bunch of very nerdy settings buried slightly further into the menus and they're all exactly where you would expect them to be. Right there on your main screen for each individual bulb you can see how much energy they're consuming, which is a weird addition. I have never seen any manufacturer feel the need to put this right there in front of you, but why not? It works and it's not taking up any unnecessary space. My dad will both simultaneously love this feature and never light his house again. Lights can be added to timers and schedules and all that usual stuff, but it's also got the ability to set the default behavior when you power on the bulb. So you could have it so that when you flick the light switch on, it comes on. Or when you flick the light switch on, it stays off until you use the app. Or it will return to its previous state. Oh my god, Philips Hue has been able to do this for years. <sighs> Shut up. There are three things that these bulbs can do that no other smart home supplier has yet thought of. The first one is night mode, and night mode allows you to say that between midnight and 7am, or whatever time you prefer, only allow the maximum possible brightness of the bulb to be X. I chose 25%, and I say that between midnight and 6 in the morning, only light the bulb to 25% so that when I get up and down to the toilet 5 times a night, because I'm old, I don't blind myself when I switch the bulb on. The rest of the time, the bulb is bright white 100%. The second of these features is called transition time, and it's an insane level of customization. It's completely bonkers, you can decide how long it takes the bulb to go from off to on between 0.1 milliseconds and 5 seconds. So if you like to watch your bulbs slowly come on, or you want them to immediately come on, you can choose that for yourself. The final thing is just how powerful scenes are. I can actually get a scene that says, if a light comes on, message my mobile phone, or send me an email. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. And I can see how this might be useful with some of their other products. If you've got a door sensor, when the door opens, it could send you a message, but only between a certain time frame, for example. Scenes are really powerful. You can set up a scene that says, when a bulb is turned on, do the following things, but only do them between certain times and if certain criteria are met. This is the best implementation of scenes I have ever seen. Scene. I've seen some scenes. If you're the proud owner of a tinfoil hat, then you will love the fact that you can apply cloud support to individual devices, but revoke it for others. This means if you've got a light bulb in your garage, you could advertise that to she that should not be named. But God forbid Amazon know what time you go to bed, don't want to advertise that light bulb, you don't have to. Weirdo. <laughs> What I'm really excited about here is the ability to have a light bulb fade up over an hour long period to emulate a sunrise to trick your body into thinking we still have a sun in this country. <sighs> Philips Hue can do that already. Yes I know Philips Hue do this! The reason I'm excited is because I can finally put Philips Hue in a big old bin! This is the first manufacturer other than Philips that I've seen that actually has this functionality and I am stoked. Do the kids still say stoked? I don't care! Although the app looks incredibly sleek and you know where everything is in a heartbeat, it has a little bit of an issue with clunkiness. At least as of time of filming, this might be resolved by the time this video goes out. But there have been times where I've gone to add a timer and it's not been clear that the timer has actually saved. And refreshing the page a couple of times makes it look like it hasn't. But if I go and look at the web interface, I should 
point out that there is a web interface that you can access via any browser. For the same bulb, I can see that the timer did in fact save. And then I'll go back to the app and I'll find the app now knows about the timer, magically. There are a few small issues with that, but Shelly have assured me they're working on them non-stop to get them resolved. And with a few firmware updates to the bulbs, which are also very, very new at this point, things should resolve quite quickly. Aside from those small issues, these are the most customizable bulbs I've ever been sent. They are super reliable, they work really well with She That Should Not Be Named and Google Home and all that good stuff. But also, look at it! Look at how pretty this bulb is! It's absolutely gorgeous! And there's like no competition for this. I think Philips do this bulb, but they don't even sell it on Amazon anymore. I think they've actually stopped doing it. If you're looking for a really reliable bulb that is super cheap, really customizable, and most importantly has the whole MQTT and HTTP support, this is your budget. The MQTT and HTTP means that your Raspberry Pi will be able to control these things in a hundred years time if the smart home industry goes tits. So you got the best of all worlds. If you're looking for products that are going to bridge that gap between complete and total nerd and normal consumer, you can start out as normal consumer and eventually become a complete and total nerd. Shelly do loads of really cool products. I'm going to link in the description to the bulbs and I'm going to be doing reviews of some more of Shelly's products in future because they've said they want to work with me some more. And based on these, I want to work with them too because they're flipping brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube's algorithms know you want to be notified when Paul uploads videos. These are the best people on the planet. These are my patrons from Patreon. Without those guys, I would not still be doing this. They really do keep me afloat, and if you want to be one of those guys, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I'll love you forever. These are my social medias, my Facebooks, my Twitters, and my Instagrams. I'll see you next time. I will... I will... I will... I will... I won't stand for this filth! I'm reporting you to YouTube! Dastardly villains, Philips, you villains. I don't know what a villain is. <laughs> if you're the proud owner of a tin foil hat, then you're gonna love the fact that you can. <laughs> what? I don't know what that is.